Welcome back to 1011 of News at Noon. Excuse me. Joining us now is retired family physician, Dr. Dale Michaels. Doctor, welcome in. Now it's flu season and we want to make sure we let people know what vaccine vaccinations, immunizations to get. But, you know, you got a warning for people. Well, everybody <laughs> thinks that this is what the flu shot comes in and it really doesn't come in yeah. anything this big. It's really more much more like this. But yeah. You know, just to give everybody the perspective, because we all think about yep. the big things. Especially me. I definitely, in my mind, picture that every time. But as we look at the list, Craig, as you can see here, mm -hmm. uh, there are tons of immunizations right. available for kids now that and adults that you didn't used to have. The biggest one for us to talk about today is the flu shot. Right. Unfortunately, it only lasts about a year, so you need to get a booster every year. Many of the other vaccines that we have don't have to be given nearly as often mm. because they build up a response in your system that lasts. For instance, tetanus. It's an important thing to get a tetanus booster, but it only has to happen every 10 years or mm. maybe every five years if you st step on a rusty nail on the lawn. But otherwise, yeah. every five or 10 years because your body builds up an immune response and it's okay. There's also been a lot of talk now about another COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. There's another HPV vaccine, uh, all sorts of vaccines. When you look at the list, it's really just uh, kind of almost unbelievable the options that we have. So I think it's important for people to talk to their family doctor and say, all right, what do I really need? Do I need, have I had both shingle shots, mm -hmm. for instance? Have I had both pneumonia shots? There's a couple different types, but have I had enough have I had these things so that as I get older, I protect myself a little bit? Now, you mentioned that, and we went through a lot of those different vaccines and what people should be on the lookout for, but who specifically should we be worried about age-wise as well? Well, age-wise, we're really talking about the people who any, anywhere over 50 is where they start to get it. And there's another list here that's even more confusing, Craig. If you have certain <laughs> illnesses, then oh, what do you do? Gosh. You need to right. have different vaccines. So people with lung disease need to be especially careful mm -hmm. about flu shots and maybe the HPV and the COVID and those sorts of things. People with other cancers or some of those other illnesses need to make sure that they get themselves taken care of, get their immunizations, keep them up to date. Like a lot of things we talk about, Craig, prevention is far easier to do than treating these illnesses once you have them. And speaking of that prevention, where should people go that you need to get these right away. Well, you can go to the county health departments. You can, some of the pharmacies have these available. Many f physician's offices, call your physician's office, see if they offer them. If they don't, ask where they recommend you get them because there are a lot of places to get them very reasonably. And in many cases, Medicare does cover the costs. So it's not a major cost. It's just a little time and maybe a little sore arm. <laughs> Dr. Dale Michaels, I always appreciate you coming in and giving us a great example there. So thank you for coming in this afternoon. And we'll be right back with Brandon with another forecast coming up.